Okay. Yeah, nice to see you again. Next too. up is a startup that's competing with Fusion IO in the solid state, one of the hottest areas right now. Obviously, solid state memory is becoming the rage, uh, not just for uh, small devices, consumer devices, but big storage. Uh, servers, Dave. Solid Everybody state. wants a piece of that action. It's Fusion fast. IO, IPO. There's fast. Can do this. Facebook's using it. Um, Bleco search engines using all solid state. This is Virident coming yeah. on. Is yeah, that, I is believe that right? they're uh, here. Uh, Georgiana, we're ready. So um, okay, so we have. Uh, stay with us, Justin TV. We love you guys out there. So you know, if you're watching us, you know, we're SiliconAngle.com is where all the action is on the tech blog. SiliconAngle.tv is the the site. My partner here is Dave Vellante, co-host. He's a research analyst, founder of Wikibon.org, and uh, hi, he's Dave Vellante. He, hi, Christian from Zeta. Uh, oh, I Chris, thought we were going to do the other guys first, <laughs> the fusion guy. I think they, oh, we're good. Yeah, yeah. We're going to fusion first. I mean, they just pulled me off. No, we're cool. Okay. <laughs> no, we'll do Zeta. Okay. That's fine. All right. Great. All right. You got a card? Uh, yes, I do. I gave it to them. Oh, you did already? Okay. Yeah, you, you've got Great. one. No, we're good. All right. So, Chris, welcome. Welcome to the Cube. Well, thank Get you. Get nice and close so All right, our audience can... Uh, can hear you. We got a great, great audience here listening to our, our coverage of uh, Silicon Angle's continuous coverage of, of SNW. We're here with Chris from Zeta. So, um, a lot of cloud action here yeah. at, at the event. Everybody's got cloud. Yep. Um, you guys got cloud. We have. We yeah. are cloud. Yep. It's true cloud. True cloud. Yeah. We yeah. have our own cloud. So, why don't you tell 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 the audience about the Zeta cloud? Um, sure. Uh, maybe a little bit about the company and, sure. and what you're doing here at the event. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot. I, uh, I run products at Zeta, just a little bit about me. And um, we, uh, we were founded in uh, 2008 and uh, went to market in uh, the summer of 2009 and then launched uh, uh, an add-on uh, product at the summer of 2010, which collectively comprises what we're in market with now, which we call Zeta Data Protect. And it has two components. It has a back-end storage system. We're a cloud storage provider. Um, that is a file system, a large scale-out file system that runs in multiple data centers around the U.S. Everything's encrypted at rest, high-performance, secure file system. Just U.S.? Just U.S. based today, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and then we've coupled that with the second component of our solution, which we call Zeta Mirror, which does exactly what it sounds. It installs in a customer environment. It's a very small, lightweight agent that basically creates a replica at Zeta of whatever data set you're pointing us to locally in the customer environment. So effectively, it's a data protection solution, but rather than being backup based, it's replication based. So what you have at Zeta when you're done with the replication is actually a mountable second copy of your data that you can fail over to in the event of a disaster. So you, would you consider that a, a backup or is it a disaster recovery solution or both? It's both. I mean, uh, backup uh, with offsite is effectively how we define disaster recovery. So it's a backup solution and a disaster recovery solution. We try to shy away from the term backup uh, because it connotes something that you need to restore from as opposed to just something you can fail over to. It's a little more convenient on the restore scenario. So um, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Because you know what? You're right. Backup is one thing and recovery is, is <laughs> it's everything. Another, you know? right. <laughs> so, um, so, so how does that work? So talk, take us through sort of a typical use case of sure. a customer and how they would use uh, your solution sure. to, to protect their data. Well, a typical customer, once they've been up and running with us for a while, is going to have, um, is going to have multiple uh, servers in their environment, 5, 10, 20, whatever it works for them, each of which will be running our Zetamir client. And each one, of which, each one of which would be configured with a certain set of data on it or someplace else in the environment across the lo local LAN that is being protected by that particular agent. Then at Zeta, for each one of those clients in the file system, there's a top-level directory. And as data begins to stream up from that client to Zeta, it gets populated in that directory where it's available as a mountable, accessible file system. So in the event of a recovery, there's no need to go back to the most recent full and layer on the incrementals to get you to a recent state of the data. The recent state of the data is the one that's just simply running in the file system. And so uh, it makes it very easy to recover to a very recent state of the data. And if you do have the need to go back in time, we snapshot the Zeta file system on a daily basis to provide restore points to go back into previous states in the, the data's history. So can I take snapshots more frequently? Sure. Or? You can take snapshots whenever you want. In fact, there's a, literally a new snapshot button that will freeze the file system at that that point and I can automate that presumably yep, exactly all right so basically you you're describing in effect you're eliminating the backup window exactly right. we're eliminating the backup window although most of our customers due to just wanting to make sure that they're uh, optimizing system resources will configure Zeta mirror to run once a day at a particular time when the system is available so the networks available the systems available and what we'll do during that sync window is walk the directory tree seeking changes and then replacing the data at Zeta uh, that's been re that's been changed locally so okay, we're so constantly updating